What's going on wrestling family? Welcome back to the channel. Now in honor of the new Royal Rumble poster that just got released for next year's PLE, I would love to answer this question from kicking it with Leo in regards to that event. And his question is, would you be upset if Liv Morgan won the Royal Rumble? Interesting question, Leo, interesting question. But if you don't mind, what I would love to do is expand the question out to something bigger to the question of who do I think should win the Royal Rumble, if you don't mind. Now, before I get started, I want to thank you so much for submitting your question. I checked out the channel. I love your content. I subscribe to it. I hit the bell next to it. I am a fan. Keep up the good work, bro. And that goes for anyone else who watches my channel who has wrestling content. Keep up the good work. I love seeing wrestling family go out there and do the things that they love. Now, back to the question at hand. Would I be upset if Liv Morgan won the Royal Rumble? Um, I wouldn't be upset. I mean, I don't really get upset or furious or really mad about a lot of this stuff. I guess I'll be a nonchalant wrestling fan if you want to put me in a category. But I don't think upset would be the word. OK, I don't think upset would be the word. I think the words would actually be utterly confused okay and i will be confused if any morgan won the royal rumble whether it be Liv morgan morgan freeman or morgan wallen it doesn't matter i will be confused if either one equally won the royal rumble and then this is no disrespect to Liv morgan as a wrestler as a person if you've been watching my channel for a long time in the past i've bigged up Liv morgan a lot i've gassed her up a lot because you guys know i'm a huge fan of Liv morgan I love her personality, especially in Up, Up, Down, Down. I love her character. I love her in the ring and so many different things. But I feel like that at this point in time, it just wouldn't make any sense for her to go into the Royal Rumble and win and then have a match at WrestleMania for a couple of reasons. I think for one, WWE doesn't really see her as a main eventer or a main event opponent at the very least. Ever since she lost her title back in SmackDown or for her SmackDown women's title run, ever since she lost that belt, I don't think WWE has seen her the same ever since. And I know at that time, Vince McMahon was over WWE. It was a different time. Now Triple H is here. But I don't think that's really changed anything as far as how they see her. I think if they're going to try to do something, it would have to be after WrestleMania. And, and right now, they don't even have any type of story or anything for her to do anything. So unless they got like some crazy story for her or something prepared for her, I can't see it happening. And also, we haven't seen her on TV since, I think, July due to her injury. And I don't even know if she's even at a place to, to wrestle. I don't even think she's healthy enough to wrestle at this point. But if she does return, I mean, it'll be great for her to return at Royal Rumble, of course, since it's like a month away. Why not just wait if she's going to come back? Because that'll be great for the Morgan, uh, the Live Morgan fans. But I wouldn't be surprised if she end up being the top 10 or maybe even the top five. And then they could sprinkle some stories there and then build on that after WrestleMania, after they clear out all these different storylines they got going on at WrestleMania. Because I don't know about you guys. I feel like at WrestleMania, they're going to start tying up a bunch of these storylines there, regardless of who wins what. I think they're doing a lot of tie ups. And then, of course, some is going to continue. And I feel like Liv Morgan doesn't fit in that. Now, let's get into the bigger question. The bigger question is, who do I think should win the Royal Rumble? And I think it's an obvious thing as far as the categories in which this person should fit in. Um, the first category would be the obvious, whoever is going to face Rhea Ripley at WrestleMania, of course. And I think Liv Morgan doesn't fit in that category. I get that the whole storyline of what happened between them two, and you could circle it back around, but I don't think this is the time to do that. Give Liv some time. But again, that'll be the first category. The second category, in my personal opinion, would be have to be somebody from Damage Control, since that whole faction is revolved around eventually having something to do with that title. So whoever wins it will have to be a person involved in that or a part of that faction or possibly somebody who got kicked out of the faction. Who knows? I'll tell you guys in a few seconds. And then the third person would have to be either a new signee to WWE, whether it be Jay Cargill or, if, or WWE goes out there and gets Julia from stardom. It will make sense for those who I get that. But then also it may have to be a legacy wrestler, someone who came back from the past, which probably could be AJ Lee. I would love to see that happen. I love AJ Lee. I've been, I had a crush for her, for her ever since I was a kid, but it would be great to see that as well. So I think it would have to fit in all three of those categories or one of the three of the categories and live doesn't fit in either one of them. So if you ask me who I honestly believe should win the Royal Rumble at this point in time, if you ask me. I would have to say, and I have a video I have like booking the end of damage control. And based off of that video, at first I was thinking when I was making it, I was like, okay, maybe Bailey should win the Royal Rumble. But now that I think about it, I think their situation doesn't require someone to win the Royal Rumble to happen the way that I have booked. But that's just solely based off of that. My bias on my own booking, that's what it's on. But I think the winner of it, again, if a legacy person or a new signee doesn't win it, I think it ultimately has to be Shayna Baszler. I think 100% it has to be Shayna Baszler for a couple of reasons. For one, 
if you want to talk about circling around storylines, this would be an interesting way to circle back to Rhea Ripley and Shayna Baszler's uh, match back, I think, in like 2019 in NXT, where Shayna Baszler was the NXT Women's Champion and Rhea Ripley faced her as the opponent. Now, on this time, it's a flip side of it. And you know WWE, when it comes to WrestleMania, they love having these video montages with a lot of content. So between WrestleMania back into NXT in 2019, they have so much footage to put that together. And also, the other thing is, if you guys watched my video before from last year or this year, I'm, I'm sorry, I predicted months in advance that I think that it's going to be Shayna Baszler versus Rhea Ripley at Survivor Series. As we see, that did not happen. But here's the interesting part. They never had a successful one on one match where it ended fairly on the main roster. It was always these multi women matches. The one that they had on Raw with each other that was one on one. It got interfered when Nia Jax came down the ramp <clears throat> and then you saw Zoe Stark out there and then uh, Raquel Rodriguez came out. So they never actually got to finish that match at all. So for some reason, I felt like, for one, I, I was kind of disappointed by that a little bit because I felt like they could have capitalized on Shayna Baszler turning face when she had her feud against Rhea, uh, Ronda Rousey, I'm sorry, before she left. Then she could have had that match at Survivor Series. But since they didn't, I feel like for some reason, they were, they're were they saving her to have this match against Rhea Ripley for some reason. They, like, they cycled through a lot of women having one-on-one -on -one matches with Rhea Ripley and Shayna Baszler not being a person that's a, that was an opponent at some point in time for that championship bill it just doesn't make any sense for me the only thing that makes sense is that they're saving her to win that royal rumble and to go into wrestlemania and have this match against Shayna baszler i mean against rhea ripley which possibly could be the match that Shayna baszler takes the title off of rhea ripley it, it possibly could be the case but that will be my pick for the winner of the women's royal rumble now let me know in the comment section what you guys think who do you think should win the royal rumble i don't know you know again we're almost two months away, maybe a month of some change. Who knows what can happen on SmackDown or Raw between then and now. But right now, I'm sitting on Shayna Baszler. That sounds crazy. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Salute. Peace. Have a good day.